Gracia. I train at Midland Martial Arts and Marcelo Garcias. And I'm gonna win by knockout. James Lodge from Browns Martial Arts, Elmer, New Jersey. My prediction is submission. Welcome back to GPG 23, Appetite for Destruction. Next up, we have James Lodge against Dante DeGracia. Jackson, take us through our tail of the tape. You know, GPG 23 is full of some really good, even matchups. Lodge, DeGracia, no exception to that. DeGracia coming in 0 and 1, a little bit more experience in the debut than James Lodge, but other than that, despite a slight height advantage for Lodge, this one's pretty much even. All right, let's throw it up to our ring announcer, Stephen Peacock. Steve. Before we begin this next fight, we must remind you there is absolutely no flash photography or light enhanced videography. Please comply with that. Thank you, folks. In our next MMA fight of the evening, the referee will be Mr. Vince Dudley. And this is also sponsored by Barb's Harley Davidson and Extel Communications. Communications to the power of X. Our first fighter is making his debut MMA appearance. He steps into the cage at five foot eight, weighs 133 and a half official pounds. Representing Brown's martial arts of Elmer, New Jersey, by way of Russia, in the blue corner, James Lodge. His opponent has an 0-1 record and comes here with a at five foot four, 134 official pounds. Representing Midwood Martial Arts of Brooklyn, New York, to my right, Dante DeGrazia! I'm looking forward to this one, Jackson. We got James Lodge, his debut against Dante DeGrazia, 0-1, but you know what? Doesn't mean anything. All these fighters come out ready to go, and this is no different. I'm looking forward to this one. Lodge very, uh, very confident in the in the back room when we spoke to him, uh, making his debut here at GPG 23. Oh wow! Got clipped by the right hand. Started with the leg kiss, got clipped by the right. Now with the tight guillotine. Grazia very close to cinching that one up. Lodge slickly evading the guillotine submission here in the first round off that takedown. Like you were saying, Lodge was very comfortable in the back when we were talking to him, sitting on his uh, stool, if you will, just laid back ready as, as could possibly be. He said he predicts a submission in the first round, but then he knew where I was going with that. He said, I don't want to tell you how, though. Well, he's got, he's got, he's working on something here, but, you know, as we say, position before submission, he got a, a little bit carried away. That's very, very common here in debut fight. He's just really excited. You want to get out there. You want to put on a show for the, for the fans. Wow, big here from De Grazia, but, but Lodge getting to his senses here. Fighting off the attack, this is, this is a bad position for Lodge if De Grazia can lock his hands and start to apply some pressure on the back of the head. De Grazia is getting a little overzealous right now with another right hook. Wow, James Lodge has some, uh, has some work to do, let's say that much. De Grazia's got a, a, a really powerful lunging hook. Uh, you don't see that very often. It's a, it's a nice punch and, and very effective against uh, a taller fighter who's not expecting you to cover so much distance so fast. Yeah, I was going to say James Lodge being the taller fighter in the range, but uh, DeGrazia is doing a phenomenal job of closing the distance. You know, you know, reach is an advantage if you know how to use it. If, if you don't know how to use it, it can just as easily be a disadvantage. You notice that Lodge's hands are, are a little bit too low, and he's just getting clipped with these punches that are coming right over the top of his guard. He's got to get those hands up. Yeah, Lodge is recovering quickly, but those those strikes are going to, uh, you know, they, they accumulate. And the Grazia's just sticking to a basic game plan. Kick the leg, punch the head. Kick the leg, punch the head. He, he must have landed that same combination like three or four times. Lodge not able to make any adjustments. Here to, to defend, and uh, Lodge, very tough fighter, but he's a little bit out of his feet. Uh, this fight could easily be stopped at any moment. Yeah, this fight is over wow. for the winner, Dante DeGrazia. Wow.
I wow. got to say, James Lodge, he put up a fight, but from start to finish, it was Dante Di Grazia. Just excellent game planning and crisp technique was the key to Grazia's victory. Uh, that kick the punch, kick the punch, kick the punch. It worked, he stuck with it. Kept and coming forward. The, yeah, reap, reap the benefits of just, and that's the thing you don't see a lot of times with fighters. Something's working, and then they move to something else. It, it's just bizarre to me, but, you know, right, Jackson, here. Jackson, let's take a look at the replay real quick. Take us through it, will you? Again, DeGrazia had, had really peppered Lodge over the course of the first round with some big punches, and just unleashing a violent barrage of lefts and rights, forcing the ref to step in. He had no choice but to finish that fight here in the first round of Global Proving Ground 23. Just textbook uh, TKO victory for Victor Dominic DeGrazia out of Brooklyn, New York. DeGrazia improving to one and one as a mixed martial artist. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be right back for our official decision at GPG 23, Appetite for Destruction. Welcome back to GPG 23, Appetite for Destruction. Let's throw it up to our ring announcer, Stephen Peacock, for our official decision. Steve. This bout is stopped at two minutes and 32 seconds of the first round. The winner by referee stoppage TKO due to strikes came out of the red corner, Dante De Gracia. Very impressive display of, of mixed martial arts action from De Grazia. We got Bob Maloney, man on the street, with our winner. Dante De Grazia came out, showed a little bit of everything. Kicks in the beginning, threw strikes, and surprisingly lasted that long. You ran a striking clinic right there in her first round. You must be proud. Tell me how you feel right now. I feel amazing. I barely believe it. Well, you did a great job there. Your, your striking was on point. You was a bloody mess. Did you, you were surprised that he lasted as long as he did? Because you were landing some hellacious shots. I honestly thought he was going to last through that first round. I didn't expect to knock him out. Well, you came out, you put on a great show. That's what the fans pay for. You finished the fight, congratulations. We look forward to you coming back and getting in the cage again. Dante DeGrazia. Excellent performance by Dante DeGrazia. And you know, the story of this fight, it's, it's the kick to the leg, punch to the face, repeat 10 times, win by TKO. Dante De Grazia advances to one and one in his mixed martial arts career with a TKO victory over his opponent here at GPG 23. More mixed martial arts cage fighting action coming to you after this.